Welcome back for another rug review. That's right, I am back. So, what is the latest film I have been watching? Can you guess what it is? Look at the date of this video. Yes, that's right. It's Avengers Endgame. <laughs> End of a 20, I think this is the 23rd movie in a run of movies that create this timeline of movies, just movies, a lot of movies to get to this point. What can I say about it? Other than the fact I did a double bill of Infinity War and Endgames, that's right, about seven hours in the cinema. But it was worth it, it was good. Oh. But yeah, what can I say? This is a non-spoiler review, so like, normally I just would not give a shit, but this time I do, because there's so many emotions that have just been shown about this movie. Um, yeah, so people that have watched Infinity War know where that happened, with people getting dusted. Steve? So there's been so many fan theories on what this film was gonna be and how it was gonna go. Um, this movie consists of three acts, that's right. Most movies consist of three acts. First act, the film starts and within the first 10 to 15 minutes, oh my God, shit is going down. And it gets to a point where you're like, shit, what happens now? Where is it gonna go? You'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen it, and if you haven't, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. And it's just like, where does it go from there? And then apart, after that, it kind of just does like, oh, I don't know. The only way I can refer, it's just like, the first hour is probably character building after the event, okay? We see where people are in their lives after it, what they're going through, like Captain America, um, you know, what there is left of S.H.I.E.L.D., which are the few, few characters that have survived, um, and kind of how they're coming to terms with the fact that the, the effect of Infinity War is irreversible, pretty much, okay? It's difficult to explain without spoilers, but I'm not gonna ruin this for people, okay? All I, so what I'm really gonna say is that many emotions flowed through my body in this. There was laughter, there was joy, there was oh my God moments, there was what the fuck moments, and there was what the fuck moments, like angry what the fuck moments, but not angry at the movie, just angry at stuff that was going on in the movie with regards to storyline. And like, I don't want this to be happening. Why is this happening? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, kind of the second part of the film um, kind of goes into like how they're gonna reverse the effects of Infinity War. Um, I felt that was well done. Um, it kind of did things I weren't expecting. So the way they go about it does include time travel for anybody that's watched theory videos yes it does include time travel but the way they implement the time travel don't like so don't be thinking of like back to the future time travel well think of back to the future time travel but it's not the same and that's all I'm saying about that but like the way they go about it and the twists in the film and them explaining stuff. It's really well done. It doesn't make you feel shortchanged in any way. I mean, they don't over explain stuff. So there are still like kind of a few plot holes in it, but it does it well enough to make you think this is good. And then we get to the third and final act of the movie. By now you're like two hours in. So you're noticing that each act is about an hour long. Convenient, eh? 
But yeah, so the third and final act is literally just a, oh my God, oh my God moments over and over. And it's just like people in the cinema were crying because they're over emotional like snowflakes. That's right, I'm controversial. I am using the word snowflake and just not in conjunction with weather. As in an actual person that's just so feeling based. Anyway, so yeah, I, in particular there was this group of girls that were just like acting like, you know, teenage girls at a rock concert. It gets really annoying at 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh my God, no, I can't believe this is that. Oh my God, he didn't do that. Oh, like, shut up. God. But yeah, the third act, literally the third act you will be blown away by. It, it is ridiculous. For me, it completes the movie and like the Infinity Saga, as this is classed as. Um, it, uh, the choreography of the fight scenes, what happens in the fight scenes, the dialogue, just everything comes together so well. Um, did I feel annoyed that it ended? I don't think I did. I felt satisfied by it. It's the first film in a very long time I've come out of and thought, do you know what, I'm happy with it. Yeah, there's upsetting bits in the movie. Don't get me wrong. You will go through a roller coaster of emotions with this movie. But I felt satisfied. And that's only on the first watching. I'm gonna go and see it again very, very soon. And the great thing about that is I know what happens. I can relax, I can chill. and. I can just watch it for the glory that this movie is. And, oh, it's just ridiculous glory. Like, glory holes. No, I went there and I didn't want to. But I did. But yeah, you make up your own minds. But for me, it's one of the best films I've ever seen. Not just from a visual standpoint, but the way it makes you feel. It completes so many characters story arcs in a I will say it again in a satisfying way and that's it if I say any more it would be spoilers and I'm just not going to do that I'm not going to ruin it for people so I'm going to give it a rog rating okay I'm going to give it five four fingers and a thumb out of four fingers and a thumb which is five that's five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was gonna give it four, but then I think of other films I've given a four and then this just tops it. So, yes. See it, just see it. Live the Marvel, cause it is done by Marvel and it is marvelous. And you will never be the same again. It is the best superhero movie I've ever seen. That's it. Peace out. Enjoy. Peace out again. I like this one.